Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to get the lost or newly inserted row ID using link to SQL class. And here we got the final output. Let's enter some employee details. The employee name is Paul. The salary is 5000. And email is Paul at gmail.com now before insert these details into database let's check our table the EMP tables right now contains eight records now when I insert the new record Paul I want to get the output on the browser the last or newly inserted row, row ID is 9 now I'm inserting the records create See here we got a message, the last or newly inserted row ID is 9. Let's check in the database table. I'm executing the table EMP table. See here the EMP ID is 9 and the EMP name is Paul. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application, go to file, new project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is last insert ID MVC link to SQL is a project name. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let me close this default window. First in this project, I'm adding the my database name in the server explorer. Right click the data connections, add connection. I'm adding SQL server name. After adding a SQL server name, my database name is new db test connection is succeeded. Okay, okay. And here, notice the new db dot dbo. The database is added under data connections in Server Explorer. Now, after that, open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding the link to SQL class, right click the project name, add link to SQL class, add that one. The item name, I'm not changing for this demo purpose. If you require, you can change, click OK. And here we got the data context DBML class is added in our project. Now open Server Explorer. Expand the new DB and here we got the objects of the new DB database. I'm expanding the tables folder. In this tables folder, there are four tables. I'm selecting the EMP table and drag and drop on the .dbml data context page. Now in this EMP table contains four columns. The EMP ID is the primary key and auto generate column. After this, now let's create a class name models folder open solution explorer in the models folder right click that one add class i'm selecting the class the class name i'm changing to emp class add now in this class i'm declaring only the properties public string in our EMP table contains four columns I'm adding the EMP name salary and email of the properties EMP name get set public the second column name I want to add the salary which is the integer data type int salary get set public public string 
email the last one get set it's an email so after that let's open solution explorer now we'll create a controller I click the controllers folder add controller now I'm selecting the controller empty and the controller name is EMP controller add and here we got the EMP controller now in this controller I'm adding the method HTTP get method I'm creating a new action result action result create method I return view the next method I'm adding the HTTP post public action result create return view method after adding two methods of the create HTTP get and HTTP post now in the namespaces I'm adding using the project name is lost insert id mvc link to sql dot models folder now in this models folder I have an emp class let's add this one emp class here emp class ec is an object now in this create method I'm adding the data context class data classes one data context dc is equals to new data classes one data context after that I'm adding the emp table class emp table is the our table name emp table it is an object is equals to new emp table it dot I'm adding emp name is equals to ec dot ec dot EMP name H dot salary the second column is equals to EC dot salary and the last column name is the email email is equals to EC dot email after that I am adding the object of the data context class DC dot EMP tables dot insert on submit I am adding the ET object this one dc dot submit changes method that's it once the record is inserted successfully in our database I want to get the last inserted row ID for that I am adding the view bag to display the message view bag dot message is equals to the last uh, newly inserted row id is plus i'm adding th this table emp table et dot object dot emp id dot to string method and the return view I'm adding the create with double quotes that's it now we require the view page for this create action result but before that we must build this application fast build build solution and here we got a message in the output window build succeeded let's close this window now right click the create action result add view the view name is create only the template I'm selecting the create template and the model class notice here I'm selecting the EMP table not the EMP class EMP table and the data context class I'm not selecting anything and make sure in the options the reference script libraries and user layout page both are selected add
and here we got the create.cshtml view page and notice the create template is added automatically uh, now let's do some modification the header tags is to get the last part newly inserted row id after i changed the header tag in the create.cshtml view page now we record this view back dot message let's copy this one open create.cshtml come to the bottom and after the submit button i'm adding send a tag h1 at i'm adding view back dot message that's it we have done the complete coding part in mvc to get the last or newly row inserted in linked sql but before on this application on the most important point is we need to change our controller name in the project app underscore start expand that one or out config dot cs file open that one and notice in here in the controller the name is home which is a default one our controller name is a EMP let's copy this one EMP and add and and the next I want to change the action result page our action result page is a create this one create let's copy this one and delete the index and add the create action result this page this view page that's it now let's check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final output let's enter some employee details the employee name is paul the salary is 5000 and email is paul at gmail.com now before insert these details into database let's check our table the EMP tables right now contains eight records. Now when I insert the new record Paul, I want to get the output on the browser. The last or newly inserted row, row ID is nine. Now I'm inserting the records create. See here we got a message. The last or newly inserted row ID is nine. Let's check in the database table. I'm executing the table EMP table. See here the EMP ID is 9 and the EMP name is Paul. That's it.